Handbrake can use nearly any type of video file you might have as a source. It can read MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, or VC-1 video from file formats including MPEG program or transport streams, as well as AVI, MP4, and MKV files. To open your video file in Handbrake, click the Source button and select Video File. Then navigate to the location on your hard drive where your video is stored and double click on it. If automatic naming is enabled in Handbrake's options, but no default path has been set, you'll be prompted to do that now. Click OK to dismiss that dialog. You can set the default save location by going to the Tools menu and selecting Options. You can find more information about setting that option in the first video in this series. For now though, we'll move on to looking at the information that Handbrake tells us about our source file. After scanning your file, Handbrake should show you one title, no angles, and one or more chapters. Keep in mind, one chapter is the same as no chapters. It will also show you the duration of the chapters selected for encoding. For example, we can read this as encode chapters 1 through 12, which has a duration of 1 hour, 39 minutes, and 5 seconds. If you don't want to encode all chapters, simply select the first chapter and last chapter you wish to encode, and notice that the duration is updated to match your selection. To encode just a single chapter, select the same number for first and last. Selecting a range of chapters other than the default of all chapters can be a useful way to remove the end credits from many videos. If you look at the duration here of 1 hour and 39 minutes, we'll forget about the seconds for the moment because it's not particularly important, and then compare that to just 11 chapters, which is approximately 3 minutes shorter. That tells me that the last chapter is almost certainly only end credits. Therefore, if I wanted to remove those credits, this would be my selection. However, I don't want to remove the end credits, so I'll select all chapters. Once you're satisfied with your source selection, you can move on to setting some output file options.